YouTube I'm back with another video anyway I bought that Alpha Lutz we did a video we broke it in anyway garbage worst carburetor I've ever seen dude I mean it runs really good high RPMs it's got a lot of power it runs pretty good it's just it's garbage worst 175 bucks I spent in a while now I know I said the same thing about this engine but I always told you that it ran great and I'll tell you what it does run great dude but anyway we had that front engine blow out you guys know about that we did a video on it so I tried to save some money and buy some cheap shit from Boca that's what I bought front engine bearings anyway I put them in and dude they're smoked after like one tank they weren't made for RC engines I don't think but they got so much stuff on there, it's like hard to know what you want or what they even pick from or what they do. So I have a feeling that there's a nylon cage inside the bearing and it melted or something. So the engine was like not locked up, but it won't spin freely anymore. So anyway, super dialed. Um, anyway, went to the hobby shop today. I got a front double seal. That's what you want, man. The double seals on the front. See? Double seal front bearing, and then I got this rear ceramic bearing. So, dude, these things are nice. And they're only, this one was 20 bucks. Pretty good deal. These were 10. And I got a few of them. Because believe it or not, man, this shit's hard to find if you want to just buy it now today at the hobby shop. But anyway, I'm going to put both of those ceramic bearings in there. This motor's got about a gallon on it. I ran it yesterday, ripping. And then that bearing started giving me issues. 2143 pipe, good pipe. Now that the engine's breaking in, the top end's coming back a little bit more with this particular pipe on it. Um, so anyway... Yeah, I mean, I know I bitched about this motor and shit like that, but I always did say that it ran good, and it does run really good. Um, I don't know. It's hard to find engines that run like these, man. You get them, and they got... It's weird, because you'll buy an engine, and it's got, like, certain spots that they run good at. Well, dude, I want it to run good everywhere. What the hell? You know what I mean? Bottom, mid, top, the whole nine. And this one does that. So I'm I'm happy with it. I'm just going to go ahead and quit bitching about it and just start replacing the shit that the $500 motors come with. I mean, you figure if I spend 250 for that, put another 30 bucks in bearings in it, so now we're at 300 The only thing I don't got is a DLC crank. Oh, well, keep it. I mean, I don't know. If you are going to buy new engines, I mean, they've got all kinds of shit out there. Reds, Nova Rossi, OS. Dude, I'm not spending 500 bucks on a motor. I said this before, and I'll say it again. For 250 bucks, that's a good motor. They run great. They dial in perfect. The bearings aren't that great. But, I mean, they're going to skimp on some shit. And I'm just going to replace them now with these right here. There it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this up. The engine's broken. It's perfect, man. I'm real happy with the reds, no doubt about it. Um, it doesn't even really need a rear bearing, but to be honest with you, I've been running that O'Donnell Speed Blend, and I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not knowing if that's any good or not. I might, I think for sure, after I run these four gallons I just bought, I'm going to go ahead and run the Byron's 9% oil, the Pro Driver, I think it is, and I think that's what I'm going to stick with. I mean, don't get me wrong, this fuel is really good, but I don't know, man. When I open up these crankcases after running them, they look a little dry, to be perfectly honest with you, so... I think I'm going to go ahead and run these last four gallons, and by that time, this motor should be needing a piston and sleeve. And that's another reason why I run this engine. That's the reason why I bought it in the first place, was because 
you can go on amainhobbies.com and you can buy all this stuff. You don't have to like search around for it and call 20 people in another country and all this other crazy nonsense. It's all there. I can rebuild this thing over the weekend and have a brand new motor. So yeah. Um, Low C8 4.0, Red Czar 5 with a 2143 pipe, 13 tooth, carbon and aluminum shoes, all green springs. Um, short header um, O'Donnell speed blend I like the O'Donnell speed blend because it's it rips the, it's good fuel but it just it doesn't have enough oil in it I mean period I mean I think it works good if you're gonna be doing like short indoor tracks you know where it just bursts the speed but I've been running this like outside like in an open lot next to my house and I don't know if that's gonna be the right stuff and I'm not racing anymore well not like legit like every weekend so anyway long story short is I'm probably gonna switch up to fuel and I'm gonna run the Byron's pro driver the 9% oil 30% and we're gonna do this engine up and I'll let you know what I think about the whole thing and these bearings etc Alright guys, have a good one. Don't buy Alpha, even for 176. Later.